Welcome to the show. Poor Choice is where I drink the worst liquor on the planet. Everybody seems to be enjoying what we're doing here. However, some concerned citizens have asked me why. Why are you doing this? Underneath the driving force for the show, drinking the worst liquor on the planet, is my fascination of things that people repeatedly tell you that are no good but still exist in the modern world, like heroin or brunch, marriage. Everybody tries something once. However, people's stories of trying something for the first time are really not that interesting. Read any online review for a brunch, for example. It's either amazing or it sucks. There's no depth to it. I don't want to listen to stories about you trying something for the first time. I want to hear why you did it again. That's the story behind the show, and that's the story I want to hear because that's where the flavor is. What drew you back in the hole? That's what I want to know. That's why unsavory things in life exist. A large enough group ignored prevailing convention to crawl back for another taste. Which brings us to today's Poor Choice episode, Thunderbird Wine. If there was a Mount Rushmore of Skid Row wines, Thunderbird would be on it, right next to Wild Irish Rose, Night Train, and Mad Dog 2020. Thunderbird is like a Mike Myers movie, the Halloween Mike Myers movie. No matter how many times he's been declared dead, how much bad press it gets, they keep making him. The people keep showing up for a sippy sippy. Thunderbird has a unique brand power, and that comes from its unique theme song. What's the word? Thunderbird. How's it sold? Good and cold. It's a not-so-secret code to let people know you were cool. Somebody asks you, what's the word? And you call back, Thunderbird. Everybody knew about Thunderbird, but nobody had actually seen it. It was kind of like the Best Picture nominees for the Oscars every year. Even though this was one of the original farm-to-skid-row alley wines, you had to seek it out to get to it. It was never available in most liquor stores and never at any bars. If any bar actually had Thunderbird, it'd be the kind of bar that opens up at 7 o'clock in the morning. You forget about Wi-Fi. If the bar had Wi-Fi, the password would be fuck off. So when you ask, what's the Wi-Fi password, they would say, fuck off. And you just go back to reading your Bukowski novel. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to drink Thunderbird. And this is actually the original bottle of Thunderbird. They stopped production of this, and they made uh, a new version of Thunderbird. This is the OG Thunderbird. I've had this for a long time, and uh, I have no idea what I'm about to get into. I'm a little scared, I'll be honest with you. I've had guns pointed in my face. So <laughs> this is scaring me more than the guns. Light a candle for me. Just don't leave it too close to the body. Can smell it from here. Oh. Oh. Fuck. I think a spider just laid eggs in my mouth. Oh. Oh, my my whole body hurts. Did, did I get loofah with a ghost pepper? You know this is uh, this is perfect for playing that magic eye puzzle game because my vision is so blurry I can solve it instantly. Oh, that's a rocket ship. <laughs> a picnic basket. Let's do one more. That's me passing out in an alley. So what have we learned here today? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I've learned. I'm not drinking Thunderbird anymore. I mean, I'm going to let you in behind the scenes, all right? I, I like to do these live, but every once in a while I do a second or even a third take. But as you can see, we only did one take of the Thunderbird. However, I, I would feel bad if we didn't have our little 
campfire at the end of the video of what have we learned. So let's talk about it. What have we learned? Well, social media is overrun with people you just don't want to talk to anymore, right? But blocking and deleting those people, that takes a lot of time. That's where Thunderbird comes in. All right, all you have to do is post a few pictures of you drinking a bird. And you can watch your follower list drop down to that core group of friends that you want to be in a foxhole with. Thunderbird is for when you just want to give up on life and have conversations with the bottle of Thunderbird in that secret wavelength that the government sends into space to talk to other planets. Right? Did you like the show today, Thunderbird? Yeah, me too. It's good. Are you, uh, did you subscribe to my YouTube channel? My mother, what? Hold on, I didn't hear you. What was that?